Hey, welcome back. If you're a Windows user, tired of bloat, privacy headaches, or forced upgrades in 2026, this one's for you. Today, we're comparing two of the friendliest Linux options out there, Ubuntu and Linux Mint. I'll walk you through the differences, the pros and cons, and which one makes the smoother jump from Windows. Let's go. Okay, quick primer. Ubuntu is Canonical's flagship distro huge community, lots of support, and comes in regular releases, plus long-term support, the LTS versions. Linux Mint builds on Ubuntu or Debian for LMDE, but it's tuned to feel familiar and simple for everyday users. Both are free, open source, and run on the same hardware Windows uses, so no need to buy a new machine. If you're switching from Windows, installation matters. Both let you boot from a USB and follow a wizard. Ubuntu's installer is clean and feature-rich, and it usually detects hardware well, though sometimes you'll need to install drivers for Wi-Fi or printers. Mint's installer is even more guided. People say it just works more often during setup. So if you want fewer headaches on day one, Mint has the edge. Here's the big one, the desktop. It's polished, but it can feel unfamiliar. No classic taskbar by default, different workflows. Mint's default Cinnamon desktop is basically a comfort zone for Windows users. Start menu, taskbar, desktop icons, easy search, no big relearning required. Both get access to massive repositories. Ubuntu pushes Snap's convenient auto-updating packages, but they can feel bulky. Mint prefers traditional APT and Flatpak, and it often ships codecs and media extras out of the box, so things like YouTube, Spotify, and Netflix tend to work without extra effort. For Windows apps and games, you've got Wine and Proton on both, but Mint's out of the box. Simplicity helps. Performance-wise, both beat Windows on the same hardware in many cases. Gnome can be heavier on RAM, so Ubuntu might need a bit more horsepower to feel snappy. Mint Cinnamon or XFCE editions are lighter and revive older PCs nicely. Great if you've got a hand-me-down laptop. Ubuntu sometimes has the edge out of the box, especially for newer hardware or some GPUs, but you'll usually get there with a bit of setup. Mint for lower-end machines, Ubuntu for broader out-of-the-box driver coverage. Ubuntu offers LTS releases that are rock solid and non-LTS releases for newer features. Mint is conservative, it holds back risky updates and focuses on stability and usability. Community-wise, Ubuntu's forums are huge. Mint's community is smaller but very friendly and aimed at newcomers. Both are secure, you won't need an antivirus like on Windows. Mint, if you want less maintenance drama, if you're a developer, need cutting-edge tools, or want tight integration with certain cloud or AI tool chains, Ubuntu is powerful and flexible. But if you're a typical Windows user who just wants a reliable, familiar environment that works with minimal fuss, Linux Mint is the easier, less stressful switch. In short, for developers and power users, choose Ubuntu. Most Windows switchers choose Mint. Try both from a live USB or inside a virtual machine. They're free, so experiment. If you like this breakdown, hit like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more Linux guides. Drop your experience below which one did you try first. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.